Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today, we're going to make a snippet roll using our scraps. But first, let's have our shout out to Teresa, Carolyn, Monica, Barbara's Chicken Pot Pie Society, Renee, Hilda, Sherry, Karen, and Paula. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, you know the Happy Mail and the little bags that I made, and I had this great idea, and I ordered these plastic sleeves. That, okay, I took it to the post office, and they were going to cost me $4.95 each to send. E gads, I can't afford that. So I had to regroup. So I regrouped. You're still getting a beautiful, it's kind of like a bag, but you're still getting one. It's just going to be smaller. And everything's kind of downsized so that I can afford to send out Happy Mail because it's a little crazy. One person is going to get my vision. I don't even know who that one person was because when I took it to the counter at the post office, the clerk rang one up. It was that much. And it's like, egads, I can't do this. And he couldn't, he says he couldn't back it out. So one person is getting the original vision of mine. Everyone else is getting the downsize, so that's my explanation. I'm sorry, my vision was awesome. I loved it, but I had to regroup because of the cost factor. I hope you all understand. You still get, you still get the the flavor of it. It's not, but it's just not exactly executed in the way in which I would wish. All right, so I have these pieces. That's why I have these pieces, because I had to chop the bags. All right, so I love, I love, I love these pieces. I love how they look. I love, I love everything about them. So I decided, okay, I'm going to use these. So you remember, we made these. We have a video of making these. And so what I did was I just started tearing them, and I pour them into strips like this and then what I did was on some of them I inked around the edge like these are inked around the edge on some of them I used the sharpie marker on the edge and on these I used the metallic acrylic paint on the edge. So there's three different looks. Now as one of my as my example I have one example it is sewn. I'm going to make one that's not sewn. So we'll have a sewn version and a not sewn version. And then you know you could I'm not mixing them. These are all kind of the same width. These two are the same width and these are the same width. Because when I had my pieces, like some pieces were not as wide as other pieces. <clears throat> okay, so, ooh, I got something in my throat. All right, this is a scrap buster. I went, went through my scrap drawer and I pulled out all the small pieces. It really felt good because now I feel like my scrap drawer is more organized. So let's decide what we want to do here. Let's go ahead and use the ones that are lined with the Sharpie marker because that is the way they are in the example that is sewn. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue. First, I'm going to glue. I guess I need to move this and move this over like this. Now, you can either use fabric tack when you glue or I am going to use my hot glue gun. So I hope this is where we can see. I think so. So I'm just going to glue these together just like this. Just a little bit of glue down and line them up and let's just get started. So I'm just literally going to grab a piece and I'm going to lay it down. I'm not even going to really choose what I'm grabbing. I'm just going to get some pieces 
and I'm just going to start, well, I just did, I just decided I didn't want that one. I'm just going to start laying some down, and I am going to need to trim a few of these pieces because they're kind of big. It says this is a great way to use up those scraps, those small scraps, the, the little ones. And it's nice. These are nice to have. You can cut them up into clusters. I think Shabby Dabby Doo Dah has a video up that she decorated a journal cover or tags. Maybe it was tags with some snippet rolls. You can do so many things with them. They're really nice and handy to have. And I'll tell you what I like to do is I like to put your scraps on and get them all assembled the way you like. I don't even, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just laying it down. So it's kind of a, um, let me turn it over to get it push down. There we go. It's a it's a nice craft to do or project shall I say to do that's kind of mindless and it's relaxing and you get to use up your scraps. So that is awesome. I love any time I get to use up my scraps. Now in my example the last thing I did after I got my pieces on was I had some thread in my little scrap drawer and I actually added that on as well. Now of course I sewed it on in my example I'm going to show you but there's absolutely no reason why you cannot glue these pieces on as well. And I think it adds such a nice touch to the cluster itself. And I have some eyelash yarn that will work here's some little edge of lace that I trimmed off when I was uh, using some lace I just trimmed off the edge and I decided to save it and it's in there and it's really sweet it's a uh, pale pink and it's kind of lacy and I think it would look really nice on this snippet roll so I'm just kind of putting it down here and there and I'm just kind of twirling it around and putting it glue in different places as I place it onto my snippet roll. Pull this down so you can see. Let me finish this part off right here. I just love making these. It's, uh, it's very relaxing. And so now we're at the end of the snippet roll. I'm just going to bring it back on down. Just like that. And I think I'll even glue it right down there. So, you see that? It gives it not only um, different layers, but it gives it, uh, I'm not going to use that word that I always mess up and say the wrong word. It, it just, um, different heights, different levels. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what word I'm talking about, but I'm not using that word. I always say it wrong, and I feel so bad after I say it, and it's like, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Now, I even have some little pieces like this that I'm going to stick on here, but majority of it are just going to be little tiny pieces. And that's because after I finish this and I have it and I've saved it and I've got it set aside and then the day comes where, okay, I want to use it, use it up and do something with it, then I can add some extra things to it. So maybe what I'm working on, I would want to add some buttons to it or maybe a little bit of bling or possibly some uh, silk flowers something like that so I'm going to reserve putting things like that on it until I use it so maybe in the next project that we do together we can use one of these snippet rolls and I can show you 
some things, some ideas that I have for a snippet roll. Oh my goodness, what do you think? I absolutely love it. And it's on that scrap piece of paper, the bag that I that I had. I love it. Now let me go ahead and show you the one that I have sewn. This is the one that's sewn. Can you see that? You will really be able to see it when I turn it over the edge, the side on the back, I mean. I zigzag the two pieces together and then I sewed down the middle attaching the little string and the thread that I have saved. Oh you guys, I absolutely love this scrap busting project. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.